It has become such a sensitive issue, so emotionally charged, that just saying two words ignites a firestorm. Sanctuary City. Local governments helping illegal immigrants avoid deportation. Edwin Ramos, whose face a judge says we cannot show you, has become the poster boy for people opposed to the idea of sanctuary cities. He was back in San Francisco court today, charged with killing a dad and his two sons. The Chronicle reports that Ramos was here illegally as a teenager and at the time benefited from the city's sanctuary program. Today, the judge decided not to issue a gag order in the triple murder case, a decision his lawyer says will hurt Ramos's chance for a fair trial. Underlying information from police reports is being wrongly disseminated in violation of not only, you know, these are, these are your, protect, your juvenile records are protected by state law and whether or not the officers are violating state law in their efforts to tarnish him. Ramos is from El Salvador. Now, this case is getting so much attention, partly because it comes after revelations that San Francisco sent four illegal immigrant teenagers to a Southern California halfway house, and then those teenagers later escaped. Fast forward to today, and the whole issue came to a head on the steps of San Francisco City Hall. CBS 5 political editor Hank Plant says even Mayor Newsom appears ready to make some changes to Sanctuary City. Hank. Yeah, good evening, Dana. I'm here live in front of the Hall of Justice in San Francisco. You know, there is no question that San Francisco's Sanctuary City policy is under fire. Now, today, uh, Mayor Gavin Newsom said he still supports the concept of San Francisco being a sanctuary city, but he does have a panel reviewing the Sanctuary City Ordinance. <laughs> About a dozen members of the so-called Minutemen who oppose illegal immigration came to San Francisco City Hall for a protest today, but they were met by 200 loud defenders of immigrant rights. Tempers flared and two immigrant rights activists were detained, one for allegedly spitting at the Minutemen and another for allegedly having a stink bomb. The Minutemen said they didn't mind being shouted down. It doesn't bother me. How can it be interrupted? I've got 14 mics stuck in my face. You know, the message is getting out. What is the message? The message is we want, we want to see an end to sanctuary cities across the nation. But that message was what the pro-immigrant protesters came here to drown out. They have a right to free speech, but not on the front steps of a city hall that represents openness and acceptance of all communities. They don't have a right to free speech on the steps of City Hall? They have a right to free speech, but when it comes to San Francisco City Hall, the city of openness and acceptance, it would be as if the Ku Klux Klan or an anti-gay organization came here. The Minutemen are especially upset that the suspect in the triple murder of the Bologna family was never deported after his previous arrest. The Bologna family was slaughtered on June 22nd here. Uh, it's something, a tragedy that never should have happened had the mayor uh, simply made sure that the immigration laws, the federal laws, were enforced in his community. So we couldn't help asking this of the mayor. So, Mr. Mayor, uh, the, uh, the Minutemen have called for you to resign. So will you be resigning anytime soon? Um, it's not the first time I've been asked to resign. I think it's about the 20th or 30th time. Minutemen are not uh, the kind of people I look for for advice or counsel. No surprises there. Now, as for that sanctuary city ordinance, uh, the uh, mayor said it's time to review it and tighten up the language in it. He wants the police here, the DA, and the courts to all be on the same page. But, Danny, he was very clear that he does support the concept of San Francisco being a sanctuary city. All right. Hank Plant, thank you very much.